Okay, let's start our live sessions. Good morning, dears. Hope you're fine. Let's start. Okay, today, inshallah, we will start lessons from 101. I want you to know that all lessons from 101 to 120 uh, are revision, revision for, uh, revision for our curriculum we studied in the uh, second term. Okay, so I will try to uh, solve as much as I can now with you. Okay. Okay, here in uh, lesson 101, in lesson 101, uh, Ahmed and Az each have a piece of rope, okay? A piece of rope. Ahmed's rope is 47 centimeter long. So Ahmed's rope, 47 centimeter long, okay? And as the rope is longer than I made, it's 15 centimeter longer, 15 centimeter longer, okay? So I made the rope 45, uh, 47 centimeter. And the hazrop is 15 centimeter longer. It means it's like I met 47 and also 15 centimeter. So it will be 47 and also 15 centimeter. Now I want to know how long are their ropes all together, all together. So I will add all of them. Okay, I will add all of them. I made the rope 47 centimeter and I add the rope 47 plus 15. So I will add all of them 47 of I made and 47 plus 15 also. The total will be 109. Okay. Great, my dears. Now let's move to page 146. Here we have multiplication facts. Let's remember together some of them and I will let you complete uh, the rest. The multiplication fact of zero. What we said about zero? Zero is, hmm, zero is, what we said about zero? Hero, great, Joyria, Miral, Ali, Abdullah, Taim, great, Yasin, excellent. Excellent, my dears. Zero is hero. So we know that we know that zero is hero. What do we mean by zero is hero? When I multiply any number by zero, the result or the product will be zero because zero is hero. Okay, zero is hero. Two times zero equals zero. One hundred times zero equals zero. One thousand times zero equals zero, and so on. Okay? Here, number one, what do we know about multiplication fact of number one? Uh, number one, yes, great, Ya Abdullah, great. Great, Ya Ali, Joyria, excellent. One is like a mirror. One is like 
a mirror. A mirror, it means any number times one will give me the same number, the same number. If I stand in front of the mirror, I will see myself. Also, any number multiplied by one will give me itself again. So two times one equals two. We can say 100 times one equal 100. Any number times one will give me the same number. Also, number two, what did we study about number two? What did we study about number two? We studied it in grade two. We said any number times two. Excellent, Ya Abdullah, great. Great, no, Yajwairiya. Yes, it's even number, Ya Omar. Yes, it's even number. Any number times two will give me even number. Yes, excellent. But, okay, okay. Basanta, try to focus with me, please. It's a regular session as any time we uh, we have sessions before, okay? We said about two, we said about two that two, two is, two is like doubles. Two is like doubles. Excellent, Adam, and it's even number also. But in multiplication, in multiplication, we use multiplying by two like doubles. If I told you two plus two equals four, it's the same two times two equals four. If I told you uh, three times two, it's the same three plus three. If I told you 10 times two, it's the same 10 plus 10. So they are doubles, they are doubles, okay? Okay. You can complete the uh, the rest by yourself. You can uh, tell me what do you know about uh, multiplying by three. We can repeat the number three times. We can repeat the number here five times and so on. Okay. Here I have uh, some multiplication problems. You can solve it as a homework for you. I told you before this session is uh, for uh, some of our lessons. It's like a revision for the whole curriculum we studied. Here in page 148, we have a mystery. Mystery. Yeah. Okay. Excellent, Yamiral. Focus with me, please. In 100, in page 148, it's like a mystery. Mystery, it's like a puzzle or a questions you can solve um, uh, as a challenge for you, okay? It's extra information for you, okay? It's extra information. The challenge and mystery is extra information for you, okay? I will start with the first one and I will let you try to solve it by yourself. If you can't solve it, never mind, never mind, okay? It's a just challenge, it's a just mystery. Okay, the first one, I have a zero. It's about numbers, okay? So I am a number and I have a zero in one's place. One of my factors is four. It means I can be the result of multiplying four by another number. And I am a double of 10, double of 10. Focus with me, please. Double of 10, it means 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. So to solve it, we can write the doubles of 10. Okay. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. And try to know which of them has zero in one's place, all of them. Okay. All doubles of 10 have zero in one's place. And which of them has four as a factor? Four is a fa uh, four as a factor. It means uh, this number can be the result for multiplying four times times any number. So twenty can twenty be the result of multiplying four by any number? 
Yes, excellent, yeah, Adam. Excellent, yeah, Yasin. Yes, yes. We can say 20 is a double of 10 and it's a product of multiplying four by another number because four times five equals 20. And also it has zero in one's place. Also, yeah, Yasin, excellent, yeah, Yasin, Malik, great. Also, Malak, great, yeah, Malak. Also, we have, we have 40. 40 has zero in one's place, okay? And it's a product for multiplying four by 10. And it's a double of 10. So the result can be 20 or 40 or, huh? No, 60, not right here, Ryan. 60 can be, uh, um, yes, 60, yes, 60 is correct. So we can take 20, 40, 60, 80, and so on. Excellent, Ryan, great, great, excellent. So it's a mystery for you. I, I solve this with you and you can solve all of these by yourself. Okay, it, it's like puzzle for you. Okay, this is the solution. And if you want to think and make sure of your answers. Here, here. Let's start, let's start the new lesson 102. Okay, 102. Here we have A multiplication problem and we have a student here solve this problem by this way we want to know if it's correct or not we have four times five we don't know the result okay great yes and Wafa, Wafa is a student she wrote that Five times, uh, four times five equals 25. Why, Yafa? Why? Because she said, because I know that I will, uh, I will repeat five. How many times here? One, two, three, four, five. She repeated five, five times. Is it correct? Yeah, great, yeah, Hamza, Miral, excellent, Yasin. Yasin, Joaria, Judy, excellent. It's not correct, it's not correct because here she repeated five, five times. So she made something correct and something wrong. The correct is that she converted the multiplication equation into repeated addition equation. She knows that we can repeat the uh, number by repeated addition instead of multiplication and it's correct. But she repeated five, five times. So it's wrong. She should repeat five, four times or four, five times. Okay, she should repeat four, five times or, or five, four times. Let's solve together. Huh. I will ask myself, he, here he is, he, he wants me to uh, write the division equation for the same multiplication equation. I will ask myself, what here should be divided by four to give me five? Hmm, 20, excellent, great, Yasin Magid, Yasin Arabi, Nada, Abdullah, Mustafa, Hamza, excellent. All of you are excellent, all of you are excellent. Okay, so the result should be 20. Here, my dears, excellent, Yatayim, excellent, my dear.
Excellent, Yatayim. She can solve it by repeated addition, Yatayim. Never mind. She can add five four times. Five plus five plus five plus five. Or four five times. Four plus four plus four plus four plus four. Okay. Now let's move to the next page, 102, less, uh, lesson 102, and the apply part. Here, I'll give you two numbers, and I want you to find multiplication equation and the division equations. Okay, I want you to find multiplication equations and the division equations for these numbers. Okay, my numbers are six and four. Can you find the multiplication equation for six and four? Sure, yes, I can multiply them. Excellent, my dears, great. I can multiply them together, my dear. I can multiply them together. So I can say six times four equals 24 and the four times six equals 24. We said that these two multiplication equations using the huh what's your property here which property is used here hmm which property commutative great excellent excellent my dears excellent my dears excellent commutative property commutative property six times four equals 24 and four times six equals 24 we can switch factors and the product will not change now we want to find division equations division equations huh which number should i put first which number should i put first excellent yamiral great great yamalik hamza excellent yasin magid great joyria I should put the greatest number. The product in multiplication equation should be the first here in division equation. So 24 divided by six will give me four and the 24 divided by four will give me six. Okay, okay. I'll give you another numbers here. And I want you to find multiplication equations. Hmm. I have five and eight. Can you multiply them together? Mustafa, can you answer? Mustafa? Yes. Yes. Ha, can you tell me the multiplication equation for five and eight? Ha, five times eight equals what? Hmm, yeah, Mustafa. Do you know? 40. 40. 40. Excellent, yeah, Mustafa. Great. Excellent. Thank you, my dear. So we can write 5 times 8 equals 40, and 8 times 5 equals 40. They are commutative property equations. Here we have division equations. So I will take the, I will take the, which number should be first? Which number should be first? Okay. Shaza, Shaza, can you answer? Yes. Tell me the division equations, please. Hmm. Um, 40. 40. Divide, 40 divide 8. Divided by 40. Huh? Divided by 8. Equals what? 5. 
It was five. Great, Yashaza. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. So we will write 40 divided by eight equals five or 40 divided by five equals eight. They are the same. Excellent, my dears. Now I'll give you some numbers here and you should solve it as a homework for you. It's a revision as we did before. Okay. These are our numbers. Okay, now let's move to the next questions. Okay, page 155. Here we have some story problems. The first story problem, I have 20 crayons. I want to put crayons in two boxes. Each box can hold five crayons. How many boxes will I need? It means we have 20 crayons. We have 20 crayons. And I want to distribute them on uh, five boxes. Or, or sorry, in, in, into some boxes. I don't know the number of boxes, but I know that each box can hold five. Ali, Ali Sabri, can you answer? Yes. Ali, what should I do? Hmm. Tell me the equation. It's um, hmm. 25 divided five. Divided by five. Yes, 20 divided by five equals what, Yali? 20 divided by five equals what? 25. No, it's not uh, 25. 20 divided by five equals what? What times five will give me 20, Ali? 20 divided by five equals what? 20. Hmm? I can't hear you. Four. 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 Excellent. Four. Thank you, Ali. Excellent. Excellent, my dear. Four. So 20 divided by five equals four. Four boxes. So I need four boxes here. Number one, there are nine elephants. Try to focus with me, please. Focus with me, please. Wait, wait, focus with me, please. There are nine elephants at the zoo. Each elephant eat two bales of hay in a day. It's the food of elephant, okay? Each elephant can eat two bales of hay. How many bales of hay does the zookeeper need to feed all nine elephants? So we have nine elephants and each elephant can eat two. Mm. So what should we do? Huh? Malik? Malik, can you answer? Malik? Nine divided by two. Divided? Can we make division here? I have nine elephants here, Malik, and each elephant will eat two. I wanted to know the total. 18. Yes, so what should I do? Give me the equation, Yamalik. Two times nine equals 18. Great, so I will multiply nine times two or two times nine. Thank you, Yamalik, excellent. So I will multiply two times nine and focus with me here. We have here something 
new, but it's very, very, very easy. We don't know what should we write here. It's like dots or space, okay? We know that nine times two huh, should give me a number here. We don't know. We, do, we know only nine here and the two here, but I don't know. Wait, please. Okay, let's continue together. Let's continue together. Here, I know nine elephants and I know here I have two bales, but I don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. So I don't know the answer here. So I will put any symbol in this space. Any symbol, you can put uh, dots or question mark, but I want now to put a symbol. So you can put X, Y, uh, any, any, any letter you want, okay? As a um, missing number here. We don't know the result. It's a missing for me. It's missing for me. So I will write here Y or X or any, any, any number, any number. Uh, um, it doesn't have uh, a reason yet yeah, time as we can put some dots here we can put x or y or something to know the value of this um, symbol okay focus with me and we will repeat it many times i have here nine times two equals i don't know so it's missing for me i can put y let's put them in our uh, triangle yes because we don't know the answer so I have here in my triangle the total norm number or the big number which is the result of multiplication should be on the top okay and I have nine and two here I will put y instead of this missing number and I will ask myself y equals what Huh? We know, uh, Malik said that nine times two equals 18. So Y equals 18, okay? So Y here equals 18. Okay. I will repeat it with this um, question. Adam baked 24 cookies. He gives uh, a bag of eight of his uh, friend, uh, two eight of his friend. So he baked the total 24 cookies. He gave uh, a bag to eight of his friends. How many cookies are in each bag? So. So I know the total, total is 24. So we will put it on the top of our triangle and we know eight. So I can put 24 here, eight here and any symbol here, any symbol, you can use any symbol, X, Y, D, uh, M, any, any symbol, any letter, okay? It's like the question mark, it's like the empty box the missing number, okay? So let's write the equation. We have here the total 24 divided by eight equals what here? D should be what? Yeah, great, great, excellent. Excellent, ya Hamza, Ali, excellent. Miral, great, Yasin. So I will ask myself eight, times what will give me 24? It's a three. Yes, excellent, Adam. So I know that 24 divided by eight will give me three. So D equals three. Okay, is it clear? Easy now? Hmm? Easy or not? Okay. 
Okay, okay, great dears. Here, number three, the zookeeper has 81 fish. So, excellent, my dears. 81 fish. So, the total fish are 81. Each crocodile at the zoo gets nine fish. Each crocodile gets nine fish. If all the crocodiles get fed, how many crocodiles are there at the zoo? So I will distribute 81 equally on nine fish or nine, uh, sorry, on nine uh, fish to make uh, groups of nine, groups of nine. So the total, I will put the total on the top, 81 on the top. And the nine I know will be in the bottom here. Here, I don't know the result. So I will write here X. We said before, it's like the missing number or it's like any symbol you can put in the missing number to know its value. Excellent, my dears. Great, Jesse. Excellent. So my equation will be 81 divided by 9 equals x. I don't know x. I will ask myself, 9 times what will give me 81? Great, Hamza. Great. So 9 times 9 will give me 81. So x here equals, great Yasin al-Arabi, great Judy. x here equals 9. OK? By the same way, you can solve these problems. OK? Here. In lesson 100 for the connect part, we have a story problem here. An apple has an average mass of 70 grams, and an orange has an average mass of 130. So the mass of uh, apple or the average of mass uh, of apple, the, the average mass of apple, 70 grams and the average mass of orange 130 grams if basma had four apples and four oranges what is the mass of all fruits wait ya malik wait i will solve it wait i have here the average of apple 70 and I have four apples and the average of orange or the mass you can say the mass you know the mass it's the weight weight if we weighted it by grams or kilograms you know this okay if we put it in the balance or or we can uh, get the weight or know the weight of uh, orange okay we have here four oranges each orange its mass is 130, okay? So the mass of four apples, huh? 70 times four, 70 times four. I know that we have four apples and each apple, uh, its mass is 70, okay? So it equals, hmm, we will put zero and seven times four equals 28 okay uh, this equal should be here okay also we will uh, know the mass of uh, the mass of uh, four oranges four oranges yes mass of four oranges we will we have four oranges each orange its mass 130 so don't forget grams it's a unit so the mass of four oranges equals 130 times four excellent yeah, yusuf hannah yasin great my dears excellent 
what should we do if we have zero? We put this zero outside, okay? And three times four equals 12. Put two and carry one. One times four equals four. Four plus one equals five, okay? Don't forget the unit, which is grams. It's 520. Great, Johanna. Excellent, Yasin. Okay, the mass of all fruits, you know all is a key word for addition. So I will take the mass of apple and the mass of orange and I will add together. Okay, excellent, Yamiral. Zero plus zero equals zero. Eight plus two equals 10, put zero and carry one. Two plus five equals seven and one, eight. We studied it in grade two and it's very easy for you. Okay, here, he gave us, what's wrong with you, Yamalik? Page 156, what page 156? You can listen, Yamalik, to the recorded session. Okay, it's very, I, I know it's very easy for you if you just look at it and listen to the uh, explanation, you can solve it. Here we have, here we have uh, multiplication equations and here we have multiplication equations and we want to write story problems for it. I, I'll give you one here. Seven times four, I know, excellent, Yasin, Miral, great. I know that, I know that it's 28, but I want to make a story problem, to write a story problem. Uh, story problem contains the